Ford. For anyone who don't know, I am Aisha Queen. I'm a Jade affiliate with Vita Divina. I've been with Vita Divina from day one. And today I want to talk to you about making yourself trend. And the reason why I feel qualified to go over this is because I've been doing a lot of studying um, of social media, following the experts who seem to always trend, seem to always, you know, be able to gain new followers and new friends and get engagement on their social media. And so I, based on what I've been learning, I'm someone who I put it into play first to make sure that I can get some type of results from it before I share it. And so, you know, just based on the stuff that I have been learning about using the various platforms, I wanted to bring it to everyone because I think that things are shifting. You know, who here can honestly say that they have been messaging everybody that they can even click the name on, on in their phone, on Facebook? If you know you've messaged over 100 people and you still have not recruited one person, or maybe you didn't recruit as many as you thought you would have, then go ahead and comment me in the chat section. Let's, let's be open and honest. Don't be afraid to be vulnerable because speaking your truth releases it from you and allows you to get the solutions you need, the questions answered that you need. And so I believe that times have shifted from that method. And um, I'm seeing that there is a better way to uh, network. There's a better way to um, get the get the audience you need. And so that's what I'm going to talk about today. Can I encourage you all to Go in your various group chats and let everybody know that this training is starting and I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen. Oh, here's my disclaimer. Everyone knows that I'm here alone in my apartment with a Simba. And so please forgive me if at any point I may have to console him or anything like that. Okay, that's my disclaimer. So Simba, are you gonna let mommy work on our future? Mommy is secure in our future. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. Hold on for one second, everybody. Um, Maybe just take two minutes and, and go. If you don't see your upline on here, go find your upline and say, hey, I'm on the training. Where are you? If you recruited even one person, go to them, send them a message and say training is about to get started. I just need like one or two minutes, okay?
Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Y'all won't believe, you know, let's put it like this. I put some tea in the Simba's milk earlier today. And so, yeah, that's all I have to say, right? <laughs> that's, so I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right. So, um, yes, please have your cameras on and um, be ready to use the chat. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, and so you're with using social media, some of you are not. Let me tell you, before I even begin, if you say, I don't even know where to start, I don't know how to use these things, I don't know how to use a TikTok or Instagram or anything like that, the videos on how to do it is all over YouTube. So once you finish this, if you feel inspired, go ahead to YouTube and figure out how you make a, a transition or how you post or how to even open it, okay? So you can find that on YouTube. Now, um, let's talk about how to prospect by being socially active daily, okay? So yes, we're focused on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, becoming more socially present. The reason why you want to become more socially present, the reasons, is because you will create a space where people who are looking for someone like you can easily identify you. Okay, so imagine if you're consistent with your content and then someone stumbles across your page on Instagram or, or TikTok or Facebook, either platform. So no moving forward. When I say social media, I'm talking about all three. And they stumble across your page and they say, wow, I was just thinking about I wish I had something for this or I wish I could do something like this. If you are present and not just had, if you post and you all post once a week or once every two weeks, that's not creating a presence. Because if I was looking for something like this and I came across your page and you haven't posted in a week, then I would feel like you're not reliable because you're not present, okay? So I wouldn't want to do business with you. I probably would Google whatever product you posted about or business you posted about to find somebody else because you don't look reliable, okay? You will educate your audience more often than not. When you're socially present and you're creating content, you're educating them through your content. Therefore, by the time you have conversations with them, they're more likely to buy or join you in business. So many people have even come to me and say, I'm ready to sign up because I've been watching you. And so for that to happen for you, you have to create a social presence where people get used to seeing you to the point where if you don't post, someone is going to text you and say, hey, you are, you haven't been posting. You will build the trust of strangers, which will help them to become new clients. As I spoke about before, your consistency helps them to believe in you, believe in your product, and therefore want to buy from you even more. You will be a constant reminder. I've had people who have messaged me and said, you know what, um, I, I've been feeling like I needed a detox and then I saw your post. Or I just was saying that I hate my job and I need to do something else and I saw your post. Or I couldn't find your page. I'm so glad you post so much because as soon as I open such and such platform, there you were. I was looking for you. So you'll be a constant reminder. They might go to a doctor's appointment and their doctor might say, well, you got, you got one week to figure out what you're going to do about your health or else we're going to put you on these meds. And they might say, they might open their Facebook sitting in a car trying to think about what they're going to do. And then you pop up and just because they see you, they remember what you do and they say, you know what, this is right on time. All right. And you will improve your social skills and confidence. Because if you stay where you are and the fears you may have, the reservations you may have, you won't get rid of them. But the more you put yourself out there, you allow yourself to be vulnerable on camera, you allow yourself to show up, show your face on camera, you allow yourself to just be present. Social media is about being social. We in a business where we need to be social in order to find the right people to do business with. So when you show up, it improves your social skills because you're connecting and having those um, uh, conversations with so many people that it gives you, it feeds you in order for you to even be able to have your cup overflowing into other people and more of your content. And it builds your confidence because a lot of times the things that we're thinking about that are the reasons why we don't do it, you'll realize that they don't even matter. You could you could have the worst accent to you, right? And then you go, you start doing lives and you'll find so many people love your accent. You might feel like, okay, I don't speak, I speak Ebonic, so I speak broken something or, you know, people don't understand me. But then 
you go live once a week, you start speaking on your videos and you'll find people that speak like you who are your tribe, who will connect with you. Okay. And so it builds your confidence to let you know, like, I can do this. Nothing has to stop me. I don't have to doubt myself anymore. You will appear as you will appear as a leader because when you're showing up, you're doing, like I said in the beginning, you're doing what 98% of people won't do. 98% of people won't go live, won't do videos. They just won't. And so if all 38 of you that are on here, I would say 39, but I'm, I'm one. So if all 38 of you on here actually begin to show up as a leader, you can inspire the other 7,000 we have in the organization. We have thousands in the organization, but they're not on here because only 38 of you have decided that I want to do better and I want to become a leader and I want to stand out. And that's why you get on these calls. And so you will appear as a leader the more you show up and create a social presence. You will increase your chances of eventually adding additional income through real and TikTok bonus programs. Look at that. And certain countries, you start creating this content, you can be included in their bonus programs. Why not do it? Why not create content more consistently so that you can even have the potential to earn a couple hundred dollars from these social platforms? They're giving it away. Put yourself in position to get it. And all you're doing is creating content for your business, right? Attracting, trying to attract your tribe or working on attracting your tribe. So decide right now not to worry about what people may think about you. We are often being judged the most by people who are afraid to even attempt what we are doing, okay? And so what I want y'all to write down right now, if you can write it down right now, is uh, not trying at all because of the fear of failure it's worse than trying and failing. Not trying at all because of the fear of failure. It's worse than not trying at all. Now, look at this. In our business, there's two position types. And, you know, if you want to think about like even sports, it's two position types in sports, right? And we're just a uh, different, um, we are a different uh, uh, industry. With the same type in sports, there's comp there's competing, there's you know challenges, there's you have to get stronger, you have to all of that. So here, our two position types, pursuing and attracting. The definition of pursuing is to follow someone or something in order to catch or attack them. In this conversation, we're talking about in order to catch them. When we are sending those inboxes that we've all sent, me included, because I know out of 5,000 people I'm friends with on Facebook, I know I have inboxed at least 4,000 of them over time because I used to live by inbox everybody from A to Z. Now, while that is a good way to still connect with them and just you know check on them, hey, how you doing, create conversation, but it's not showing to be the best way to create income in our industry anymore. That is a dying way of trying to create a, a income or build your team because so many people are doing it. How many people on here, put it in the chat section, um, if you have recently in the last week received some random message from somebody you have never had a conversation with or haven't even talked to in months or a year. I personally have received at least three different inboxes from people. I don't even know who they are, but we're friends on Facebook doing the whole, hey, can you watch my video? Hey, do you want to make money online? And so we have to step away from that because we want to stand out and really create an army, a wave, a tsunami of people who are winning and not just doing what everybody else is doing, just running on the, uh, on the wheel, right? And so... We want to step away from pursuing. We don't want to just try to catch our new business partners or catch our new clients. We want to attract them to us. Attracting is cause to, cause to come to a place or participate in a venture by offering something of interest, favorable conditions, or opportunities. So I want y'all to have attracting in your mind. Screenshot this. Go find a definition, make it stand out to you so that I'm, I'm loving how the numbers are growing. I'm seeing 46. Hey, 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 everybody. So make it stand out to you 
so that you can have in mind, how can I attract people today? Is this content I'm putting up going to attract them or am I still just doing what everybody else is doing in advertising or am I just, you know, am I, cause someone asked me, like, I think she asked me yesterday, um, how do I go about inboxing people to get them to the call and stuff? I said, we have, we have to shift from that method because that method is not as effective as it used to be. And so let's talk about how to attract your tribe. Let me ask everybody a question. If it's 47 people on here, can I get at least 20 of you to respond in the chat? Who would like to be able to attract a minimum of three to five new potential customers and business partners a day? Type me. I'm looking at the chat and I'm waiting to see who would like to be able to attract a minimum of three to five new potential customers and business partners a day? <clears throat> Are you learning a symbol? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. Okay, okay, I can continue now. Yes, most people want to be on the side of attracting. It's so much more exciting when you're actually talking to somebody who wants to hear what you have to say, who's open-minded about the opportunity, who have, who, matter of fact, everybody should have health goals, right? But who has a consciousness of having those health goals? Who has a consciousness for wanting to lose weight or gain weight or whatever? Who has a money consciousness to know that they want to find ways to bring more income into their home? All right. And so <laughs> look, look, reasons why most people don't do content. One is time. If you see your reason on here, type it in the chat. What will be your reason why you don't do content in this moment right now? Forget what we're about to talk about. But in this moment, what's your reason why you don't do content? And I actually want to open the chat so I can read what the reasons are as y'all type. Is it time? Is it background? Is it nerves? Poor camera quality? Low storage? Lack of knowledge or what to say? I'm seeing lazy. I'm seeing nerves. Can I get, can I get just like three more people to respond? And so I hope that my goal is by the end of this presentation, you will um, overcome your reason that you've told yourself as to why you don't do it, okay? Let me say something about nerves because nerves is one thing I didn't put anything in the presentation about. But let me say one thing about nerves. Nerves may never leave you. You may feel that feeling of your nerves going crazy every time you do a video, a speech, a testimony, uh, anything. You met the even some of the most highly influential speakers still at times feel those nerves because guess what? Guess what? Anxiety and excitement both give you the same feeling. So you could be uber excited and feeling those nerves and think that it's a bad thing and it makes you think of fear and then fear makes you go into flight or fight mode. Choose fight mode, go through it to get to it, do it anyway, because you might very much well still feel those nerves, okay? So I'm moving forward. <laughs> I told y'all he was gonna be in this presentation, right? Sorry. All right, so content creation to attract. And see, let me just say this. Thank you so much for everybody to understand. I really wanted to give you all this because I feel like it was necessary. And I hope that y'all see the value in it beyond the distraction of me having to be mommy also, okay? I promise I'll get better and I'll get great at being able to have these moments with y'all and have him be a part of it. We are working on that, okay? So content creation to attract. Let me get, I just want like two volunteers. Can I get two volunteers? If you are willing to volunteer, raise your hand. You will not be, oh, 53. Hello, everybody. I love the team. Can I get two volunteers? 
Okay, matter of fact, Miss Jacqueline Francis, would you be willing because I see you said what to say? And I'm also going to ask um Ermine Bailey because you said what to say. So let's go, let's go there. Um Jacqueline, would you be willing to unmute? I believe you can unmute yourself and just have a quick conversation with me. Hello, thank you for having your camera on. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Hello. Where are you from? Trinidad. Oh, Trinidad. I love me some soap. Yeah, Trinidad the big Let me ask you, you know how to wind your waist like they do when they play soap and music? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, maybe you can teach me one day because I'm working on that. So let me ask you, because you said what to say, right? What do you uh -huh. do for a living? Outside of your business, what do you do for a living? Or maybe if you're full-time in business, but what do you do for a living? But presently, I'm not working. I'm home. Okay. Because after the pandemic, I will out of a job. Okay, so you're full-time in Vita Divina. Yes, but I want to get in actually because um I have I have been registered before, but the person that I registered under had given me no support, none at all. So um when my sister gets ill and I contact the group again because I was not really active in the group. Okay. Um, and then my upline had dropped out of the group, she take out herself, she said. So what has happened is that um, Wait, I'm when I came Jacqueline, back on... Jacqueline, listen, I do not mind to have this conversation with you at any time, but for the sake of time, y'all know I'm working on a limited amount of minutes before Simba starts bawling and making me get off of here. So I want to, okay. let me go through with the example. And if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, then just ask the person that invited you to this training to call me on three-way and we can talk about it, Okay. Well, yeah, he did make that arrangement, but I didn't have the time. All right. So you said you, oh, so matter of fact, um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call on someone who is already in the business. I totally appreciate you participating, um, but I'm going to go ahead and call on someone that's already in the business. Okay. Do you mind? Okay. All right. No problem. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, so let's see, let's see. Um, Danielle Elliott, maybe, or matter of fact, Dina Queen. Let's let hey Ma, unmute yourself. That's my mom, everybody. Ma, go ahead and mute yourself. Unmute yourself. Hello, how y'all doing? All right, hey Ma. So Ma, what do you do for a living? Um a uh, male sorter. Okay. I'm retired and I'm a male sorter. Okay, okay. Awesome. What do you like to do? I like to go to the movies and spend time with my family. That's what I like to do. Well, when you spend time with the family, what do you like to do with them? I like going on trips with my family and going to the movies. Okay. What are you passionate about outside of the business? I'm passionate about being with my grandkids. So <laughs> when you are, everything is content. And to find your tribe, to attract your tribe to you, you could talk about the different things that you go through as a male sorter, as content. You could talk about what movies do you like? What's your favorite kind of, like I realized really recently I love zombie movies. Right. I love like I, show me anything zombie related and I'm in it. Like, so what kind of movies do you like? I like action movies. Action. Now, so imagine you start talking about, you know, your favorite action movies as content. You talk about what you like about the action movies as your content. You talk about um, you know, being a, a grandparent and the things you're able to do with your grandkids as content. You could talk about you know, the, the ways that you see your grandkids growing up, the ways you saw your kids growing up, 
what you're noticing about life from when they were younger to when we're older now, what you're noticing about, do you get what I'm saying? Everything around your life is content. When you think about, I'm still a person outside of my business. And so when I'm posting content, if y'all have been watching my page, I post about stuff happening with me and Asimba or Asimba because I'm so big on just, you know, being his mommy. I love it. So I post a lot about my experiences with him and that gets the attention of other moms, right? And so you are attracting people who are, um, who are going to eventually become your friends through things that y'all have in common. So the more you post about what you do for a living, what you like to do, what you're passionate about, the more you'll find people who um, feel the same way or believe what you believe. And therefore, you could be having a conversation with somebody based on something you posted about your grandkids. And next thing you know, y'all are inboxing, talking about it. And then they will be saying, um, well, how about we get together and we take them such and such. And then next thing you know, they're saying, you know what, I've been watching you and you're, you know, doing this business. I want some of that tea. Because see, it's not going to be overnight that everybody's going to just buy from you. You see what I'm saying? Does that make sense? Did that help anybody with at least some type of content that they could post? Yeah. Did that help? Did that help anyone else? Thank you, mom. Did that help anyone else? Does that help? I would say write these three questions down so you can really keep them in mind, remember them. And every single day when you're creating your content, post content around letting people in on who you are. The more people like you, the more they trust you. The more they trust you, the more they are willing to buy from you. And if you're showing them who you are by going live, by creating videos, by posting consistently about your life, showing your talents, Showing your lifestyle, whether if you at work working, do a quick video of you working. What do you do while you're working? You know, I never seen what the inside of the, the factory or the mail room looks like. So if you did a quick video like, boom, this is what I'm doing, that would get my attention because I would be curious. If I was still working at a jail, I would do my best to try to get some clips of what's happening when I'm at work. If I can, because, you know, phones aren't allowed, but y'all get what I'm saying. If a phone is allowed, then get some clips because that is you building that relationship with people you haven't talked to on the phone yet that are just connected to you or that will find you through those. Because I posted about me wanting to leave from corrections and me being able to use network marketing to leave from corrections. I had like 70 comments on a, a reel I did on Facebook of people who were saying, I do this too. I want out. I'm a CEO in, in Massachusetts. I'm a CEO in Texas. I want out. Other officers found me. When I post about PCOS and my challenges or my me overcoming those challenges with PCOS, people who have had PCOS, they follow me and they say, how? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. So I'm finding my tribe through telling my story on a consistent basis. When you're working out, when you're cooking, imagine Jody be posting, Jody um, Davey, she posts a lot about her food. And she's, I bet, is finding a lot of people that are following her and connecting with her who later ask about her products through her showing her natural way of eating raw veggies as her lifestyle, hobbies, daily routine, travel. I know somebody on TikTok where all he posts every single day is what his day is like from the time he wake up to the time he go to bed, little one or two second clips throughout his whole day. That's his whole entire TikTok. And he has like thousands of uh, followers. So imagine he go to post to sell some t-shirts or something, boom, he's going to get sales because they feel like they know him. People will begin to feel like they know you. When they feel like they know you, then they feel like they can trust you to want to do business with you. Am I making sense? So show your environment. Um, and other things you could do is post about questions you're often asked. A lot of times our customers or potential business partners be asking the same type of questions. Can I drink the tea hot? Uh, does it make you go to the bathroom a lot? Uh, are you really making money from this? Uh, do y'all have a support group? Uh, what else? Drop some questions that you're asked in the chat section. What are your most common questions that you have been being asked? 
since you've been in business? What question comes up the most frequently? And after you type it in the chat, put it in your notes too. Because when we get off of here, you should make your first video answering that question. You don't even have to talk on it. You can take your phone and you can record the wind blowing the trees outside and type on the screen, you know, the question and then put the answer at the bottom. You could do a voiceover, put the question on the screen and do a voiceover to talk about the answer. So what are some questions that you are asked the most frequently? Because when you have those questions, those are great things to do videos with, okay? Statements that you hear the most often regarding the products, the business opportunity, or the team. You know, what statements are you hearing a lot? There's actually websites that you could go to to um, find the most asked questions. Let me see if I have that website. If I do, I'm gonna share it with you. I think I saved it in my phone because I love the idea of it. So let me see if it's in my phone and I'll tell y'all what it is. If, if not, then y'all can go to Google and look up I don't see it, but go to Google and look up website to find the most questions asked on Google. You can create content around that. And what it is, is when you type in a keyword, it gives you all these examples of questions that people ask about that, that industry or that business or that thought, right? And you can create content around that, okay? Smile, be genuine. If you are still trying to figure it out, it being the business, be excited that you have the tools to learn and grow. When I first started in network marketing, I had made no money. My first company didn't have the ability like Vita Davina to earn money from day one. I had to go through a process of like, it took me maybe two months before I earned my first check because I couldn't, I literally could not until I got licensed, right? But I was still recruiting because I was excited about having the ability to connect with other people who was going to teach me, fill me up, help expose me to new environments and a new type of lifestyle and give me the hope that I was missing. A lot of people are missing hope and maybe you could be what they need to just feel hopeful about life again. You know, uh, the suicide rate is mad crazy right now because people are losing hope in their potential of their life, of their uh, relationships, of their lifestyle or whatever the case may be. You could be that hope just by what you post on content or the conversations you have. So even if you haven't made money or you're not where you want to be at in this business yet, the more that you can be genuinely excited, genuinely happy, genuinely grateful for what you are being exposed to as you're learning new skill, developing yourself, changing your state of mind, um, having a different type of success consciousness, you can be excited about that and pass that on to people. That'll make them want to join you in business. Okay, pass it on through your content. Tell stories. That's the last one of this page. Make sure you are telling stories every day. If you can tell stories, it may not be you speaking. Once again, type the words on the screen, post statuses of a story and tell a story about, you know, people love stories. What they say, story, sell, facts, wait, story, sell, facts, tell, right? If you've never heard that before, stories, sell, facts, tell tell. I see a lot of people posting facts and that's the whole, you know, and put your facts in your stories, like your stories, literally stories on Facebook. If you want to put your facts in your stories, but in terms of content on your page, that's going to be there forever. Tell stories, use your story. I'm telling you somebody on our team right now, uh, Pearl affiliate, Kieran Mathias, if you ever heard him train, his whole training is nothing but story after story after story.